Hello, 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 and welcome back to another amazing day of character education. This is the place where you, your parents, your teachers, whoever wants to, comes together to learn a big idea. And a big idea is simply something like courage, patience, determination, something that grows inside of you to change the world around you. And I'm here, Corey. I know. Because I am an expert in all of those things. <laughs> So you can all learn from me. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, not everyone here has met you yet, but I certainly think that they have figured you out pretty quick. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, like, Andrew, this is the place where everyone learns the big ideas, okay. including adults, uh, teachers, mm -hmm. principals, yep. experts. Okay. okay. And we are all working on this thing together. Okay. So you speak for yourself, though, because... Okay. I, I've got it. Anyway, we're here at the beginning of the month, and mm -hmm. we need to start it off with a big idea. So let's do a drum roll. Can you okay. help with a drum roll at least? Oh, yeah, I'm perfect at that, too. You are perfect at drum roll. All right, three, two, one. Honor. Honor? Honor is letting someone know. I know. Well, repeat it after me. Honor. Oh, honor. Is letting someone know. Is letting someone know. You see how valuable... You see how valuable they really are. They really are. And now, just people who have uh, amazing hand on coordination, um, say it with me. So honor oh, is honor. letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Hey, uh, Corey, um, did you did you see who said that with me? Oh no. Um, but why would you even be asking? Well. Because I need our best and brightest. I need the people who are ready to face a challenge. Um, I need some help. So, okay. Yeah. I've heard that from a lot of people. You do need help. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, I need some help from, let's see, you and you and uh, you, you, uh, you. Uh, no, 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 not you. The, the one beside. No, 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 the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Y'all ready? <clears throat> okay, yep. Andrew. I don't really know exactly what's going on here, but we're talking about honor. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you do is you point to very specific people that you may or may not want to be in our video. Some people don't even like being in videos. And, and why are you pointing at these people in the first place? Okay. They... I. You're right, Corey. They may or may not want to be here, but I know exactly where they will want to be very soon. I can't believe I'm going to even ask the question, but where? Okay, these people desperately want to be on my super championship cornhole team! <laughs> oh yeah! Whoa, I... Yeah, cornhole. I didn't even know that you played cornhole or were on a team or uh, knew what it was. Okay. I don't actually, but I need one. Um, I need a team for the first annual inaugural cornhole Greater Georgia World Championship. Wow, that sounds yeah. impressive. Yeah, it is. Um, first prize, first prize is a big trophy, and they're going to put my name on it. <laughs> don't you mean like the whole team, like everyone's name on it, all of them? Oh, I'm. Well, I mean, I guess, but I mean, mine will be at the top because it's my team. Okay, Andrew, I don't think you're quite understanding the concept of honor just yet. Um, just stand back and watch me because I'll be honored for the way that I show honor. Okay, all right, let me see. Get my coach's clipboard here. Okay, okay. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um... All the ships at sea, please raise your right hand. Uh, no, the, the other right. Okay, now you, you, uh, you have a seat. Um, the re the reaction time wasn't quite quick enough. Oh, so Andrew, you, you just me. okay. All right, uh, please, Corey. Um, this is science. Now, everyone, listen carefully and repeat after me. Um, Seventy-seven benevolent elephants. Okay, now say that three times. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, no, you're out. Uh, no, 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 you're, you're, you're out. Yeah, 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 you sit down. Andrew, yep. 
Uh, Cornhole. Uh, I didn't know there was a speech part of the competition. Uh, Corey, I don't expect you to understand how one weeds out chafe. Chaff. Is it chafe or chaff? I know. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, I don't expect you to know how we weed out, you know, all the world's best athletes. I mean, I mean, I need a mm-hmm. lean, mm-hmm. mean, fighting team. For cornhole. I, I didn't realize it was such an athletic sport. Uh, the nuances can be the difference between first place and no place, Corey. Okay. Uh, you, you over there. No, 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 not, not, nope. You right over there. Uh, I don't like the way that you looked at me when I said that. So, they're out. Andrew, you're not showing honor to any of these people. Okay. These people are here to gain me some honor at the tournament. Andrew, honor... It's all about showing them how valuable they are, not because of how they act or what they know or or how fast they can say your silly rhyme. A a person deserves to be honored just because of who they are. And you're discrediting for them from your cornhole tournament for just random weird reasons. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Quick. Uh, Yeah, you right there. Um, Which is best? Corn pudding? Cornbread or cream corn? Uh, wrong! It was none of the above. Take a seat. Yeah, why don't we just let all of you take a seat? We're not going to be judging people based on mysterious weird things. Uh, Corey, cornhole is mysterious. Yes. So, but, uh, I think you're dismissing people based on how they talk and, and how they look and all these kind of things, like what food they like, and that's not honoring. We're... We're teaching honor, talking about honoring. Yeah? I see where the, I see where this is going, bud. <sighs> Finally. I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, good. Yeah. I think I think we I think we've caught on. Okay. Well I'm yeah. glad you're finally. Well, I think we're on it. the same page. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, Corey. Yes. I I know that you want to be on my team. I've r- I realized that that's <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Me, I, on, no, Corey, no, it, I, don't be embarrassed. I understand. It's okay, but mm-hmm, Corey, mm-hmm. it's just you can't. Mm-hmm. You can't be on the team. Really? And just out of curiosity, can you tell me why? You didn't make me coffee this morning, mm-hmm. and I can see that that means that you don't value my leadership. <laughs> So there is some questioning in that regard. I think that we probably have a lot to learn about honor. All of us, every single one of us need to learn about honor today. Every one of us. So why don't we check out the next video and see just how important it is to show honor. Okay, let's do it. Hey, everybody. And shh, I'm working on a surprise. I think the coast is clear. Uh Let me introduce myself first. My name is Caleb, and I'll be with you for several months this year to talk about big ideas. Big ideas are words like honor, compassion, knowledge, and courage that grow inside us to change the world around us. But today is a special day. I'm gonna make a huge meal of my neighbor's favorite foods. I'm talking, there it is, steak. Uh, We got green beans, mashed potatoes, and brownies. For dessert. (laughs) She's gonna be so surprised. See, I wanna make her favorite meal just to tell her I think she's pretty great. She helps me by collecting my mail when I'm gone, and she even brought me soup last week when I was sick, and she always greets me with a huge smile. She's the best. (laughs) So to show her that I've noticed her kindness, I'm doing something to honor her. She's really important to me, and I want to let her know. There are lots of people who deserve our honor, like veterans, people who keep us safe, like firefighters and doctors, the grown-ups we live with and in our school. We even set aside special days for many of those groups to show them our honor, which is great. But who else in your life needs to know that they are important to you? And what can you do to show them? I'd better get back to work, but before I do, I want you to know I think you guys are valuable too. In fact, let's honor each other by saying our big idea all together. Ready? Honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Let's do it again. Repeat it one more time with me. Ready? 
Honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Oh, I think I hear her coming. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, yeah, that's where your brain is. Good job, Seamus. Oh, hey there. I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him my sample, Seamus. Whoa, and he can do that in like five languages, folks. This month is about honor. Letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. So today, me and Seamus, we're gonna honor someone from our town. She's the police officer that's been directing traffic in our busy downtown area for many, many years. Please welcome Officer Shan McVarn. Welcome, Officer Shan. How are you doing today? Uh-huh. <whistles> what? I... I... Oh! Oh, she said she's doing fine. It, it figures you'd understand her. <laughs> Officer Shan, we'd like to honor you for the great work you've been doing directing the traffic in our tiny little town and keeping us accident free. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What? <whistles> Aye. Oh. Oh, she's, she said she's just doing her job. Well, it's a job well done. And we have an award for you. It's your very own. Gold-plated traffic whistle. We wanted to show you honor and let you know how valuable you are to all of us. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, no. I uh, understood that one. She said thank you. Well, you are very welcome, Officer Shan. And now me and Seamus are going to do a rap for you. So kick it. <laughs> An award you can bestow, or kind words can help folks know that they're worth more than a dollar. Go out and find ways to show others that you see how valuable they are with honor. Word. Officer Shan, thank you for taking the time from directing traffic to come out here so we could honor you. What? What? Hi. What do you mean who is directing traffic since Officer Shan is here? I'll do that too. Hey everyone, I'm Tucker, and I'm hoping that Sam is learning a little bit about honor. But let's say the definition one more time together. Ready? One, two, three. Honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Yes, that's awesome. Great job. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go. oh, okay. Sam's okay. here. Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, uh Sam, seriously, I thought you were getting the whole honor thing under control. Like, yeah, I I, no, 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 of course, Sam. Hey, we can talk about this in just a second. Hold on. Let me finish up this for the big game. Sam, what are you... Up. Just what? take your time. Just okay, take your time. thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, so what, what are you even doing? Well, you see, Tucker, I'm going to this game, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to make some signs for the team, you know, out of, out of sportsmanship. Oh, uh, that's actually really cool. In fact, mm -hmm. that does show honor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Um, you're wanting to honor the team and let them know you see how valuable they really are. Uh, sure. Well, that's great. I mean, taking the time to make something to let people know you're rooting for them, whether it's a sports team, a teacher, a parent, or even a brother or sister, is a great way to make someone feel honored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Can Can I see the signs? Can I see what um, you've been working uh, on? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, okay, done. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. When I hold them up, I want everyone to read them out loud. Okay, are you guys ready? Um, that sounds like a fun idea, actually. Like, with a lot of participation. And yes. this way, we can all get the sense of what it's like to honor someone together. Y yeah, uh-huh. That's, yep. Yeah, honoring others. Yeah, yeah. okay. Are you guys ready? You're terrible! You got, guys, yeah. Did, no, don't, yeah. don't how yell about, that. How about, you'd be just as good if you didn't show up. Oh, yeah. No, no Sam, th this isn't. Th Are you ready for this one? <laughs> you smell like old cheese and it old suck. Woo! Sam, what? stop. What? Why are you yelling this I, at I, this your is, team? This is my I thought you wanted to no, cheer them. No, 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 no. This is not for my team. My team's actually gonna win. This is for the other team. Okay. Yeah. So, like, 
I'm like right behind their bench. So like they're gonna hear everything and definitely get to read this bad boy. But yeah, oh cheese and a dirty sauce. Sa Sam, that's not good sportsmanship. Wh why not? They're the other team. Yes, but they're human beings. Are you sure about that? Listen, mm. I love competition. I love rooting for my favorite team, but it doesn't mean you have to uh, tear down the other one. Even the other team should be honored. Even the other team? What? Tearing another person or team down isn't honoring at all. Mm. It makes people feel va like less valuable. The opposite of what we've been talking about all month. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go make some new signs. Right. <laughs> Just, uh, Good. Um, so. Perfect! Uh, um, Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't. You ready? Yes. You ready? Can, yes. You smell like old cheese! Sam, how is that honoring? Cheese gets better with age! You are unbelievable. I'm Lawson, and I want to know how no one ever told me about candy corn and peanuts before. This humble mix is the unsung hero of the holiday tree season. It deserves its very own YouTube show. <gasps> Ooh. Set reminder to create new channel. But only after I tell you this super awesome story from my friend Benji's cousin, Ruthie. Ruthie's class is holding a fantastic family fall feast at lunch, and each kid is supposed to invite a parent or someone else important and special. Problem is, Ruthie's dad is leading a training session at work that day. For ninja! And mom's got a special presentation for her job. Making a peace deal between the Empire and the Rebel Alliance. But Ruthie's got no time for mind tricks. She says, what about Uncle Victor? He's important, because he's a pilot and flies huge jets all the way to the moon. Ruthie can't think of anyone else. She's like, there's no one important for me to bring. But mom asks, have you thought about inviting Aunt Esther? Ruthie shakes her head, because Aunt Esther is just, well, she's not very important. But mom is like, I think you should invite her. So Ruthie's got no choice but to invite Aunt Esther to the family fall feast. And when it's Ruthie's turn to introduce her guest, she has to tell everyone about her aunt. My Aunt Esther, um, gives homes to stray cats? <laughs> Ruthie's trying really hard to think of something else, and she remembers, she taught me to tie my laces. Ruthie shares how when she was six, Aunt Esther spent a whole week every day teaching her how to tie her laces. Ruthie adds, and she makes the best chicken soup anytime anyone is sick. From the postman to the trash collector. By the truck club. And when Ruthie's done introducing Aunt Esther, everyone cheers. And they all celebrate with chicken soup. Plus candy corn and peanuts. So kids, remember that candy corn is a vegetable. Which means candy corn and peanuts is a complete meal. Lawson. Plus, honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Lawson, you cannot tell people that candy corn is a vegetable. Well, I have to tell them something. Candy corn is not healthy. We'll get tweets. Yeah, but they'll be yummy tweets. <laughs> have I ever told you how awesome you are for helping me all the time? Still not a vegetable. I love you, Mom. Bye. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Martin. Today, we've seen Andrew and Sam struggling with showing honor. As I've watched and listened to them today, I've thought to myself, I wonder if they've paused long enough to think about the people who they can honor in their life. So, that's what I'd like to give you an opportunity to do. 
You may be watching this at school with your teacher and classmates, or you might be watching this alone on YouTube. No matter where you are, I'd like you to make three different lists of people you can show honor to. If you're in a classroom setting, how you do this can be up to your teacher. You can do it all at, as one group or take a few moments of silence to make your own personal list. Your first list is family. Who in your family can you honor? The second list is friends. Write down the names of some friends you can show how valuable they are. And your third list is community. In this list, I'd like you to come up with people who serve your community. For example, maybe you'd like to show honor to some police officers. Remember, honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Are you ready? Good. Go ahead and pause the video right now to make these lists and then press play when you're ready to move on. See ya. Today was a great day. A regular crew wasn't at the park today, so I was just trying a few new moves, nothing huge. When I saw this kid at the top of the bowl, I mean, we've all been there. Looking down, wondering how to throw your weight over the wheels but not go too far. Anyway, I took a break and I went over to see how he was doing. I just kind of told him what I think about when I dropped in, and then I showed him how to drop in. He bailed a couple of times, but he was starting to get it. As I was walking back, this guy stopped me. I didn't know what was up, but he just said, thanks for helping my son. So I was feeling pretty good, even though I couldn't land my burial heel flip at all today. But then as I was just about to head out, the kid came over and gave me a sticker he was gonna put on his board. He said he wanted me to have it instead. We are almost done for today, but let's remember our big idea one more time. Okay. We're talking about it all month, yeah. so repeat it after me. Okay. Honor. Honor. Is letting someone know. Is letting someone know. You see. You see. How valuable they really are. How valuable they really are. And I think, I think all these people are extremely valuable. I know I got started off on the wrong foot, so just want to make that clear. Good. I there. am relieved yes. to hear that, and yes. I, I'm I'm proud of you. You're learning value. Yep. And, and I, honor. I want to I want to let them know something. Okay. I really need some help with. Um, I got a barbecue coming up. Okay. Yeah, and I need them to help me figure out the table arrangement. Mm, so you're making dinner for everyone? No. Nah, no. I'm allowing them to offer their valuable opinions, because they are valuable, uh, about the seating arrangements at the said barbecue this weekend. I I'm not tracking, but just keep, keep okay. going with it. We'll be fine. Okay, all right, listen. Yeah. Okay, so this here is obviously me, because this... Head of the table. Yeah, well, no, it's near the dessert. So this here, <laughs> dessert, mm -hmm. then... Um, down here, you see, I gotta put I gotta put my granny down here because her teeth fall out, and like <laughs> if she is eating the potato salad, the teeth that's just gross. Mm -hmm. That's just great. <laughs> then um, I have my cousins, okay, Jim and Jack, yeah, and they're pretty cool. So I feel like they should probably sit down here with me right here. Yeah. But there was that one time that they they got me in trouble. And so, you know what? You know what? No. They just need to sit. They need to sit down here with Granny. Make, they can see the grossness down there. Now, there is Aunt Jenny and Uncle Max, and they used to take me camping quite a bit. So, I'm like. Oh, they deserve a seat of honor. Yeah. <laughs> they took you camping. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> yes. But. Okay. They never, ever, once, not even one time. Let me eat a whole can of Vienna sausages. I love Vienna sausages. And plus, Uncle Max, he snores like a whoopee cushion, Corey. I think <laughs> I think they should be down here, too. Okay. Actually. So, at your barbecue, you're going to be sitting by yourself. Well, I mean, they're not, I'm not tired of so they're kind of down here. But, I mean, I can't think of any better company. And, and that's what I'm worried about, Andrew. Over time, 
if you're not honoring people, you're going to be a very lonely guy. Listen, Andrew, I think you need to reconsider how you are honoring these people at your cookout. So you're saying that if I take the whole table for myself and I put them at a car table in the hallway, that that's a bad thing? <laughs> yes, that's a very bad thing. It, uh, honor is about treating others right. And if you're doing this with your relationships, okay. it, it's going to cause a lot of distance in your friends and your family for sure. I mean, I guess I guess eating alone c- could be kind of boring. And to, And to be fair, my limit is, you know, only two, maybe three pies at a time. So, mm-hmm. I think we might need to tackle this problem another time, uh, like especially the- after we really understand honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. Okay. Uh, for now, though, uh, we should we should just take a break or something. We will see you guys next month. All right. See you guys later. I, I don't know what the problem is. All right. I want to tell you something Cause sometimes things are never said When you feel like you got nothing Just know that you have got a friend Yeah I want you to